Walking back on a chill morning past Kilmer's Lake into the first broad galley, down its trough and over ridge of poplar scrub oak and into a larger gully, walking into the slow, fresh warmth of mid-morning to Spider Lake where I drank at a small spring remembered from ten years back, walking northwest two miles where another gully opened, seeing a stump on a knoll, where my father stood one deer season, and tiring of sleeting cold burned a pine stump, the snow gathering fire orange on a dull day. Walking past charred stumps blackened by the 1881 fire to a great hollow stump near a basswood swale, I sat within it on a November morning watching deer browse beyond my young range of shotgun and slug chest beating hard for killing. Into the edge of a swale, waist high with ferns, seeing the quick movement of a blue racer and thick curl of the snake against the birch log, a pale blue with nothing of the sky in it, a f fleshy blue, blue of knotted veins and an arm. Walking to Savage's Lake where I ate my bread and cheese, drank cool lake water and slept for a while, dreaming of fire, snake and fish and women in white linen walking, pinkish warm limbs beneath white linen, then walking, waking homeward toward Wells Lake, brain at boil now with the heat, afternoon glistening in yellow heat, dead dun brown grass, windless with all distant things shimmering, grasshoppers, birds dull to quietness, walking a log road near a cedar swamp, looking cool with green darkness and whining mosquitoes, mosquitoes, crows call overhead, cooper's hawk floating singly in mateless haze, walking dumbly foot sore, cutting into evening through sumac and blackberry brambles, Onto the lake rope, feed sliding in gravel, whippoorwills, nightbirds wakening, stumbling to the lake shore, shedding clothes on sweet moss, walking into syrupy August, moonless dark, water cold, pushing lily pads aside, walking out into the lake with feet springing on mucky bottom until the water flows overhead sinking again to walk on the bottom, then buoyed up, walking on the surface, moving through beds of reeds, snakes and frogs moving to the far edge of the lake, then walking upward over the basswood and elders, the field of sharp stubble and hay bales, toward the woods, floating over the bushy crests of hardwoods and tips of pine, barely touching in miles of heavy rolling dark, coming to a larger water there, walking along the troughs of waves, folding in upon themselves, walking to an island, small, narrow, sandy, sparsely wooded, wooded in the middle of the island in the clump of cedars, a small spring which I enter, sliding far down into a deep, cool, dark, endless weight of water.